All right, guys, what's going on? Chapter uh, 2, Fundamental Problem 2. All right, let's get started. Uh, so we, if you looked at the previous problem, you know that pretty much the first thing you have to do with these is uh, make a, a nice-looking triangle, right, so you can get a nice intuition of what your answer should be. All right, um, in this case, so two forces act on the hook determine the magnitude of the resultant force. Great. Well, we know the magnitude and direction of the, each of these two uh, forces here. Um, again, let's call this one A. Let's call this one B. Right? And we're going to do B plus A. Okay? Switch it up this time. Well, okay. So let's first let's start with, let's just draw, you know, an auxiliary line auxiliary and then you know that B makes an angle of 70 with the horizontal okay so let's start with this is B okay this is an angle of 70 and then let's go with A so it's gonna be B plus A okay and then A makes an angle of um, 30 degrees with the horizontal. Okay, so it's going to be B plus A. Okay, that's 200 newtons. And actually, let's backtrack this one. So we know that this is 70 because that was 70. And then you know the the side here is 500. Okay, so that's B plus A or A plus B doesn't matter. And now the resultant force will be we began here and we ended here. Okay, so your resultant force will point to the ending point. Okay, that is what you're interested in. What is this magnitude and direction? Actually, here they're telling you to determine the magnitude. Try not to let that fool you. Most of the time, they will be looking for the angle. Um, but let's just do the resultant force in this case. It's a lot easier. All right. Uh, so this, you know, the triangle part is the confusing part because you're going to mess up and you're going to keep erasing and putting stuff down. and you get, That's why you got to try to draw it as neat as possible. All right. So I know that this angle here is 30 degrees, right? Because we know that A makes an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal, which is this auxiliary red line, okay? And you also know that this whole, this whole angle right here is 180, right? So you know that this will be at 180 minus 170. All right, so so that's 110, all right? And now we solved for that interior angle, okay? So we know that this whole angle here is 140 degrees, all right? And then we can just use co cosine law, right? Pretty simple. Using cosine law, we're gonna have C equals uh, a squared plus B squared minus 2AB and then cosine the angle opposite to C, right? 140. Right, and this will give me my resultant force. So again, take it. Just do it slow, do it as neat as possible, and draw as many auxiliary lines as you possibly can. All right. So at the end of each at the end of each vector, just draw an x and y axis, right? Just to help you visualize. So that'll be. And when you're professional like me, then you can just not draw stuff. Let's see. And this will give me 
665.7 newtons. All right. And then if you wanted to get the direction, again, just, just like in the last problem, you just do the, apply the sine law to try to solve for this angle here, right? And then the total angle from the x-axis will be this angle plus this angle. All right. And that's it. Pretty easy. All right, guys. I'll catch you in problem three. Take it easy.